Hey guys, JB Silly here from Dallas, Texas. Thank you for tuning in for this little seminar on five better ways to use your So Trendy accessory gowns. Uh, we've been using So Trendy accessories for uh, eight or nine years now, and we have a, a bunch of different dresses, different sizes, different colors. This is one of our favorites that we took on a 26 city tour last year and photographed with different size models in different areas of the country. We just had a really good time. And that's what I love about these gowns. Uh, it's not just for maternity sessions. We, we use these for portrait sessions. Uh, the larger maternity gowns we can tie in the back so they fit a little better. We're also going on tour this October for a 10 city mini tour. And it's $2.99 per person, 10 photographers max. We're gonna shoot together with Profoto lights. I'll provide the transmitters and the models and the so trendy accessory gown, of course. And we'll have a good time photograph. And uh, every attendee also gets a complimentary sample album from Queensberry worth $199 value. So thank you, Queensberry. So let's get into the presentation, and I hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you have any feedback, just leave a comment, let me know. All right, let's start our presentation on five ways to rock your so trendy gown. Throughout my career, I've loved using fabrics and different objects as subdominant elements to help fill the scene, and that's what I love about these so trendy accessory gowns. It just gives you a little more va 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 voom in the shot, not just you know a, a mermaid style wedding gown or something like that. So I love using props like this British paratrooper pink parachute, spinning dresses like this, using veils. Also using veils and shooting down into cameras. Using veils, subdominant elements to fill the scene. And also using veils like this. So this is kind of where I got my start shooting weddings. Tossing veils, again, just to fill the scene a little bit more. Here's one of my favorite shots ever created for one of our clients called Message in a Bottle. Shot this at Prada Marfa in Valentine, Texas. Two lights set up. 30 second time exposure for the Prada store, 200th of a second time exposure for the bride, and just merge the two. Another shot tossing a veil with a little puppy in it. This one's called And Your Little Doggy Too. She said uh, when he proposed, I'll marry you, but you have to accept my little doggy too. So we incorporated little Stewie into the shot. Dye veil Black. Uh, this is one of our past clients that uh, went through a pretty rocky divorce, and we did a little session for her. This one's called Until Death Do Us Part. Another veil shot, Olympic National Park. This one's called Skipping Stones. Shot with this couple for two days straight. And the groom was skipping stones throughout the entire shoot. So for the very last shot, I said, Rory, go over there and skip some stones. Out of 2,000 images, guess what their favorite image was? It was this one right here. Another tossing veil shot for a bridal shot in Fort Worth, Texas. Always love looking for reflections. If you enjoy this presentation, join me live every Thursday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, this is sponsored by So Trendy and also Pro Photo and Queensberry Albums. They sponsor me so I can do these educational uh, videos for you guys. So please thank them. Quickly about us, we were established in 2002. We have a little storefront in Las Colinas, Texas, right on the canals. Uh, we bought this 15 years ago, and we love this little building. 854 square feet but it gets the job done. This is why we shoot environmental portraitures because we have such a pretty environment behind our studio. This is our little studio back here. And this is one of our little scenes that we shoot on. I've shot the same scene probably a thousand times in 18 years. And if it sells, keep shooting it. Here's the inside of the gallery. It's just for in-person sales and also for meeting bride and groom, potential bride and grooms for a consultation. A little couch. 65 inch TV from Costco, uh, put a mirror up here. We used to have a 30 by 40 hanging up here, but we realized we couldn't sell a lot of 30 by 40s. So we put a mirror and we put two 24 by 36s. We don't sell a lot of 24 by 36s, but we sell the next size down, which is a 20 by 30. So it gets the job done. All right, number five on five ways to rock your so trendy accessory gown, lay it out. I know it sounds simple, but Lay it out in different shapes. Think about laying it out in a square or a triangle and doing something a little, a little more geometric with your photography. Kind of fun. For this one, I uh, actually liquefied the dress into a heart and just to make it something more dramatic in the salt flats in Utah. Here's the uh, shot. This is Las Colinas. 
right behind our gallery, that little spot I was showing that I sh I've shot a thousand times. This is one of the thousand times. This is straight from the camera. No off-camera lighting. And this is how we finished it to make it a little more dark and moody. So it took me a good 30 minutes to darken this up. So I prefer to shoot this same scene with strobes, which hopefully I'll show you later. Here's that same red dress. Just lay it out and have your subject lay on top of the dress. It's a great frame. I, I love the uh, colors that So Trendy offers with their gowns. This red one's been all around the world. We've had this for 10 years and it still looks great and been all around the world photographed uh, a ton of our clients and a ton of models for workshops and it's been a great accessory to have for us. This is our newest dress. Just lay it out into the wet sand. One light setup off camera right. Roughly 65 degrees. This is the Profoto B10 plus 500 watt second shooting through a beauty dish will deliver 330 watt second of power. I always have my strobes at full power. For this one, we shot at 4,000th of a second, F2, 100 ISO, we flipped the Sunny 16. If any of this is confusing you, I don't want to make this a lighting seminar. I do want to talk about the Sotrini accessory gowns. But if you'd like to work with me and shoot a, a workshop with me and learn off-camera lighting, I'll have some uh, workshops available on our website, sillyphotography.com. So this is what I enjoy the most, is taking these strobes out to really beautiful areas with these beautiful gowns and just creating something different. And our clients love that. Number four, work the wind. Love work in the wind. Just toss it up there. Let the wind do all the work. She's just holding her own dress and the wind's kind of catching it. Here's the before and after. You can see straight out of camera. It didn't look that great. I liquefied that dress to bring it out just a bit. And then I took the lights out of the shot. This is shot with the Canon mirrorless R 28 to 70 lens 2.0. Shot this at 56 millimeter ISO 50. I shot high speed sync in order to establish a shallow depth of field, which I love. That way the foreground, the background's a little soft. And the attention goes right to the subject. Had two Profoto B10s. Main light kickers over here. I straighten it up. I stitch this together, put the subject on top, take the people out, take the lights out, and make something pretty for our clients. This is what I do for most of our clients. I, I make panoramic uh, environmental portrait art. And it makes us stand out in Dallas, Texas. There's a lot of photographers here, but there's not a lot of photographers that are doing something like this. So we, we developed our own niche or niche by uh, cropping a three by two or a three by one ratio. Let the wind do the work. Uh, off camera lighting is just the sun. You know, if you're gonna use available light, have that sun off camera 65 degrees to make it dramatic. This looks like it's lit with a strobe, but it's actually just available light. Here's my parachute once again. Here's that scene once again. Same red dress. Our clients love this red dress. We have five different dresses, and I'm telling you, nine times out of ten, they go for the red dress. It's, it's very dramatic, and our clients love it. Number three, five ways to rock your so trendy gown. Team toss. This is something I have to do when there's no wind. It takes a team, takes a village some time, but to get something really pretty like this, you got to have a little help. So here's a little video I made for you guys so you could see how I set up the lights and set up the team toss. Perfect. Love that. And you can see the main light source is actually with the sun. I'm not going to try to fill the shadows with my main light. I actually want to add more drama to the shot by adding the main light off right and adding more light to the sun side. Always have a kicker when I'm tossing the dress. That way it stands out. It's nice and red. Uh, my kicker for the dress is always 135 degrees off camera left or right behind the subject. I find it just illuminates the fabric a little better and makes it kind of glow. Looks really pretty. Here's how I shot this. Again, a stitch, photo merge in Lightroom. And that's straight out of the camera. This is shot high speed sync once again for shallow depth of field. Probably F2, 8,000th of a second, ISO 50. And I'm maxing this out as much as I can to retain all that detail in the whites. Here's another so trendy accessory gown that I love. Uh, when I'm photographing black fabrics, I've got to have three strobes. You can see I've got light over here, light over here, and a main light on the subject. This is Bethesda Terrace in New York City. 
there it is. That's how I do it. It takes a team. This is called Team Toss. So I've got a guy over here tossing, a guy over here tossing. Two Pro Photo B10s with a Magnum on there, full power. I need everything I can get to get that light through that black fabric and make it stand out. Without these two strobes, you're not going to see the black. It's going to blend in. Then I straighten it up, clean it up, take the people out, get something pretty like that. Number two on five ways to rock your so trendy gown. Get low and wide. This shot in particular, the camera is in the salt. And I love shooting like that to get the client up in the sky, make it more dramatic. Here's another one with the 14 a spherical lens, 2.8. Shooting down into the sky. F16 will get you that nice little starburst since this has uh, six leaf aperture. It'll get you six little points right there. It's kind of neat. And number one, light it up. If you want to see that gown in, in all its glory and all its beauty with the beautiful colors, you got to put some light on it. My favorite light source is that B10 Plus 500 watt second with that beauty dish. Uh, again, that delivers 330 watt second. I always get this question, should I go for 250 watt second or 500 watt second? And I always say, go for more power. That way you can push it through and soften the light. You don't want to be stuck with 250 watt second trying to soften the light uh, in direct sunlight su shooting Sunny 16. It just You'd have to have this box three feet off your client's face. So with this, now I can have it six or seven feet off my client's face. There it is, full power. Flip the Sunny 16 once again, F2, 4,000th of a second, 100 ISO, two light setup. This is my go-to. When I'm shooting with one of these dresses, I've got a main light, 45 to 55 degrees off camera. I got a kicker, 135. Look what this kicker is doing. All that beautiful light you see that you love is from that one kicker. So it's so important to have that kicker on the shadow side to fill the shadows, separate your client from the background. This is a three image stitch. I crop it into my three by one ratio and make something pretty like this. And this is high speed sync, shallow depth of field once again. Two light setup, it's my go-to. I love this, 90-90. Beauty dish on the face, kicker on the back. And there it is, we just take the people out, take another frame at the very end with nobody in there and no lights. Merge the two together in Photoshop. If you have questions on how to do that, find me on Facebook, reach out, and I'll help you get some tutorials on how to do this stuff. Once you do it, you'll be like, you'll be like JB, that was so easy. I know, you just got to know how to do it at first. Another two light setup, main light kicker. Uh, can you guess what this is back here? It's a Yeti with a AR-14. <laughs> I can't even make this stuff up. That's Seattle for you. Love this shot, but we can't see the city. So we can press, we back up, we shoot this at a 200 millimeter to get the city in there so we can tell it's Seattle. Beautiful clouds that day. I get low, shoot this with a 28 millimeter and I merge the two together. And this is more of a composite, but it's shot on scene. The client knows we were in Seattle on this beach and she's gonna have those memories. She's not gonna remember that I shot this with two different lenses, two different shots and merge it together. So it's important to create these memories with your clients on location. I've been asked so many times if I can just shoot green screen and put a subject into one of my older shots. And I kind of laugh and I, I say, what's the fun with that? You want to have something beautiful on your walls that's timeless, that's a conversation piece. So you, you have something to be proud of. You're not going to be proud of a green screen shot. Here's another two light setup. Uh, this is number one, light it up with your so trendy accessory gowns. Sorry, this is a one light setup. One light right here, you can see the light stand. Beauty dish right there. Take the people out. We stretch the dress out. And that's that so trendy accessory gown again. Just a one light setup. Very dramatic, very beautiful, very simple and striking. Two light setup. We've seen this. Light it up. If you want more instructions on how to stitch, how to take the lights out with Silly Magic Light, how to shoot high speed sync, I have some tutorials made for this. Uh, shoot for Cannon Beach, only nine bucks. It's on my website, salephotography.com, S-A-L-L-E-E -E photography.com. And I make them affordable. You know, I have three of these made so far and I'm just gonna add one or two every few months for you guys. So enjoy those. I hope you enjoyed this presentation for So Trendy Accessory Gowns. Uh, I wanna thank Photo, one of our sponsors also for creating such a, a beautiful uh, strobe that's easy to take on location easy to charge and easy to set up. 
game changer for sure for this industry. I also thank our our uh, sponsor, Queensberry Albums. If anybody would like to try out a Queensberry album, I have something where you can win a complimentary workshop with me and also a studio sample album from Queensberry. So thank you, Queensberry from New Zealand. They do excellent work. We've been with them for seven years. And 18 years of our career, we've fired 11 different album companies for various reasons. This is the one album company that we're sticking with. We love them. Uh, they've been in business 50 years, family-owned. They produce beautiful work. And we want to thank Queensberry. If you want to enter that contest, go to salifphotography.com. After 10 seconds, you'll see a pop-up like this. Fill it out. And I do uh, monthly drawings for free workshops. That's a great way to meet me up somewhere in the country and learn some uh, off-camera off-camera lighting. I'll also be on the road in October this year. 10 stops. I'm going to start in Marfa, Texas, go to Tucson to that Pima Air Museum, San Diego to Coronado Beach, Los Angeles to the Disney uh, Music Hall, I believe it's called. San Francisco, I'm going to shoot at the Black Sand Beach during the day, and then we're going to do a sunset shoot with the bride and groom underneath Baker Beach, or on Baker Beach, underneath the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. I love shooting there. I've shot about 10 sessions there with clients from Dallas, and I just love going out to San Francisco and shooting. Then I'm going to head to the to the uh, Death Valley National Park and photograph a workshop out there. The workshops are great. It's only 10 photographers max. I bring the, the pro photo gear, the transmitters, the models. We shoot for five or six hours, have a good time. We talk and grab a beer afterwards and just learn some stuff. Uh, Social distancing is a must. We will wear a mask. We're going to be careful. So that's why it's only 10 people, all outdoors. We'll be spread out and we'll be safe. Bonneville Salt Flats, love shooting out there. I'm going back there. Denver, we'll probably go to the clock tower and shoot there. Kansas City, and then back to Dallas. Workshops are only $2.99. If you sign up, everybody gets a free Queensberry album worth $200. So it's like you're only paying 99 bucks for the workshop. Not bad. There's the workshops. You can check those out on my website. And I have some international workshops as well. If you want to go to Chernobyl with me or Santorini or Iceland, Swiss Alps, Norway, Scotland, France, I love doing these things. I do about three or four of these a year, and uh, it's always just a great time. We learn a lot. Each one of these includes five nights accommodations and a two-day workshop. So for France, we get to stay in the castle. Uh, for Norway, we rent out a nice house, and we all stay in the house. Chernobyl will stay in Kiev at a uh, Marriott that's very safe. And uh, Scotland, we rent out a house for the entire group as well. And Santorini is always a blast. If you want a good time, uh, come to Santorini. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.